In this video, I'm going to show you how to round to the correct number of significant figures so that you never get points off for this again. Hi, I'm Kelly and welcome to my channel all about chemistry. Feel free to hit the subscribe button so that you stay updated on my new videos. In my last video, I went through the rules on recognizing and counting significant figures. For that, check the link in the description below. This video is part two. I'm going to show you how to do mathematical calculations and round your answers to the correct number of significant figures. It's not something that's worth losing points over, especially if you do the calculations right. I'll explain the two rules for calculating with significant figures, and then we'll do some how-to examples. But first, here's a note on rounding. A digit less than five to the right of a number means it stays the same. A digit greater than or equal to five to the right of a number means you round it up one. In chemistry, sometimes you have to make a series of calculations. When you do this, only round your final answer. When rounding to obtain the number of significant figures, only look to the digit directly to the right of the final significant digit. For example, if we need to round 5.346 to two significant significant figures. We look only at the four because it's directly to the right of the three. The four being less than five means the three stays the same. Round it to two significant figures. The answer is 5.3. Significant figures or sig figs. It's the same thing. When doing multiplication or division, the number of significant figures in your answer should be the same as the number of significant figures in the least precise term from the calculation. For example, if you are multiplying 5.34 by 1.2, the unrounded answer is 6.408. The least precise term in our calculation is 1.2 because it only has two sig figs, whereas 5.34 has three sig figs. So our answer can only have two sig figs. To round our answer, we look at the second significant figure and round it depending on the digit directly to the right of it. Next to the four is a zero, which means the four stays the same. So our final answer is 6.4. Rule number two, for addition or subtraction, the final answer has the same number of decimal places as the least precise term in the calculation. For example, if we add 1.25 plus 2.3 plus 4.036, the unrounded answer is 7.586. 2.3 is the least precise measurement as it only has one number after the decimal. So our answer must also have only one number after the decimal. To round our answer, we look at the eight to round the five. The eight rounds the five up to a six, and our final answer is 7.6. So for addition and subtraction, it's all based on decimal places, whereas for multiplication and division, it's based on fewest number of significant figures. The rules get a lot easier as you practice. So let's try some examples. 21 minus 14.8. The unrounded answer is 6.2. Since we're subtracting, we have to round our answer to the same number of decimal places as the least precise measurement, which is 21, with no decimal places. So we have to round our answer to also have no decimal places. Looking at our answer 6.2, the two means that the six stays the same. So our final answer is six. 3.45 plus 7.687 plus 92.1. The unrounded answer is 103.237. Since we're adding, we also have to look and see which number from our calculation has the fewest number of decimal places. 92.1 only has one decimal place, so it is the least precise. We have to round 103.237 to one decimal place. Looking directly to the right of the two, the three is less than five, so that means the two stays the same. So our final rounded answer is 
18.2 times 1.5. The unrounded answer is 27.3. Since we're multiplying, we round our answer to the same number of significant figures as the least precise term. 18.2 has three significant figures and 1.5 has two significant figures. So we round our answer to two significant figures. The three means that our seven stays the same. So our final answer is 27. Again, if you need a review on how to count the number of significant figures, check the link in my description below. 2.560 times 3.8, all divided by 275.15. Here we have both multiplication and division. To get our final answer, first we multiply the terms on the top to get 9.728, then we divide by the 275.15 to get an unrounded answer of 0 0.03535. I have to round my final answer to the number of sig figs as the least precise term in my calculation, which is 3.8 since it only has two sig figs. To round my answer, I look at the second significant figure, which is five. Directly to the right of the five is a three, so the five stays the same. My final answer is 0.035, which only has two sig figs because those leading zeros are not significant. Check your understanding by trying these practice problems. 2.5 Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you want me to give you a thumbs up for trying out those practice problems. As always, stay positive and keep learning.